The world was saddened yet again by the death of another talented rapper in America, Lexi Ali J, who died at 21. Many people don't know about Lexi because she had just begun making her mark in the world. Sadly, she didn't live long enough to achieve her dreams, and Riveted has compiled the disturbing truth about her death. Ali J, who was born Alexis Ali J Lynch, was the granddaughter of Zap Band founder Roger Troutman. The grandfather was best known by his first name, Roger, who was known for his groundbreaking funk sound that was considered the sound of West Coast hip hop. Roger, who also played on Parliament Funkadelic's last Warner Brothers album, The Electric Spanking of War Babies, died in 1999 after being shot to death by his brother, Larry, who subsequently killed himself. Lexi's father, Roger Troutman Lynch Jr., was also a rapper who died at age 33 in 2003. Wow, the family has been through a lot, and now they're going through the tragic loss of a very young family member. As much as Lexi was born into a musical family, she did her best to have a mark of her own. Allie J was an up-and-coming rapper who launched her career by recording covers of hit songs on SoundCloud and YouTube. She attended the Creative Arts Secondary School in downtown St. Paul, according to a 2014 interview she did with the online blog Everything Within. She also attended Como Park Senior High before transferring to Creative Arts Secondary School. Ali J ultimately dropped out to pursue a full-time music career and began rapping over the beats of popular songs by artists such as Dej Loaf, Tupac, and Drake. She released her first mixtape, Super Sweet 16s, in 2014 on her 16th birthday. She then collaborated with Rocky Diamonds on an extended play titled Three Days. A second mixtape in the meantime was released a few months later, then she released her third mixtape, Feel Less. Ali J became close friends with Kalani the summer before the release of Kalani's debut commercial mixtape, You Should Be Here, which peaked at number 36 on the Billboard 200. In 2017, she released a remix of Redbone by Childish Gambino and Me, Myself, and I by Beyonce. On September 8th, Ali J released her first full-length debut studio album, Growing Pains, in which she covered topics such as dropping out of school and maintaining a relationship with her ex-boyfriend's mother. At only 21 years old, the young artist amassed a large and loyal following. She's remembered for rapping with emotionally charged and vulnerable lyrics, as well as her unmistakable flow. Her debut full-length album, Growing Pains, especially highlighted her raw and emphatic energy. She was on the verge of releasing a new album before her untimely death. Lexi was active on her social media just hours before she died. The day before her death, Lexi tweeted, wishing a happy birthday to Kalani's manager, David Ali. After news of her death, David took to Twitter to share a prayer hands emoji. In Ali J's last Facebook post, she wrote, Staying in the crib as usual on New Year's, I don't do parties. I hope everyone has fun. Be safe. Unfortunately, she didn't have the opportunity to cross over to the new year. Not so much is known about the death or even the exact place she was at the time of her death. Probably in a few days, the family and friends will shed more light. But all we have at the moment is a vague report. A spokesperson for the St. Paul Police Department said that they did not have any reports related to Ms. Lynch. The artist's family only announced the news on Facebook, calling her sudden death a nightmare. A relative of the rapper expressed their grief after the sudden death of Lexi by saying, They say don't question God, but damn, why you, baby? This thing called life is crazy as hell. My heart is broken. The tears won't stop. I'm trying to hold it together. I love you more than you'll ever know. I can't focus. I can't concentrate. I'm numb. I literally cannot breathe. Rest easy, baby. You gained your beautiful wings. Lexi Ali J, please keep our family in your prayers. Another one of Lexi's cousins also posted on social media to express her grief. Growing up, Lynch made sure she attended family functions when she could and spent time with her little cousins who adored her. Evidently, the news of the untimely death hit them the most because the cousins were the ones who broke the news of the death. As of publishing this video, the cause of death of the star has not yet been revealed. However, many people believe that it had something to do with drugs. Many rappers have overdosed and died in recent years. Like other SoundCloud rappers, Ali J's tracks had drug and alcohol themes. In her song, Look at Your Game Girl, she raps, Colt 45 to the head, hope I don't blow my liver, liquor all in my system, make me float like a river, dripping, bottles sitting on the counters in kitchens, I'm sipping, stare at my children, wish they had what they missing. Social media also has eyes and ears. And according to the various posts about her death, many are convinced that the young rapper overdosed. Lexi said on her Facebook post that she didn't go to parties on New Year's Eve, but a user on Lipstick Alley said that she was at a small party on New Year's Eve night. Apparently, she was given fake pills that had fentanyl, and she overdosed on the pills. According to her Snapchat, it looked like she was in the company of a very few close friends. While we're at it, let's elaborate on fentanyl, something which many rappers are using irresponsibly. It is an opioid used as a pain medication and together with other medications for anesthesia. Fentanyl is also used as a recreational drug, often mixed with heroin or cocaine. It has a rapid onset and its effects generally last less than two hours. With fentanyl, it's less about what it does than about who it's taken away. This already dangerously potent and addictive painkiller is often illicitly manufactured in clandestine labs and sold as knockoff Xanax or other prescription pills. 
In 2016, it was the 218th most prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 2 million prescriptions. The same year, fentanyl and analogs were the most common cause of overdose deaths in the United States at more than 20,000, about half of all opioid-related deaths. As of 2019, fentanyl was the most commonly listed opioid in overdose drug deaths, surpassing heroin. A kilogram of heroin laced with fentanyl may sell for more than US $100,000, but the fentanyl itself may be produced far more cheaply for about $6,000 US per kilogram. If reports confirm that Lexi died because of fentanyl, she will be among several artists who died because of the drug. Medical examiners concluded that musician Prince died on April 21, 2016 from an accidental fentanyl overdose. Fentanyl was among many substances identified in counterfeit pills recovered from his home, especially some that were mislabeled as Watson 385, a combination of hydrocodone and paracetamol. American rapper Lil Peep also died of an accidental fentanyl overdose on November 15, 2017. On January 19, 2018, the medical examiner coroner for the County of Los Angeles said Tom Petty died from an accidental drug overdose as a result of mixing medications that included fentanyl and acetyl fentanyl. Additionally, in 2018, American rapper Mac Miller died from an accidental overdose of fentanyl, cocaine, and alcohol. As soon as word of Lexi Alley J's death hit the internet, tributes to her poured in from far and wide. Celebrities, including Jay Versace, LMI, and Ari Lennox, have shared social media tributes, and her fans are also mourning with her friends and family. One person who was very heartbroken after learning about the death was Kalani. Lexi was mostly known because of the song they did together, and the two remained very close after working on the song. In a very lengthy and heartbreaking post, Kalani wrote, I'm so sick, I'm so angry, I'm confused, and my heart is broken. I don't know why this happened. I don't know what you've ever done, but be brilliant, kind, strong, gentle, compassionate. You got my heart on the floor right now, Lex. You were such a star to me because every word you spoke was true. Every word you wrote was honest. You asked questions with wide eyes. You laughed and covered your mouth because you was always so shy, even though everyone who ever seen you said you was so damn gorgeous. Lexi Ali J's management, 1AM Media, released a statement following her shocking death. Ali J's team noted that rapper J. Cole inspired her. Ali J herself had talked about his influence with City Pages in 2016. Lexi had been so determined to fulfill her dream that she once paid $300 to see J. Cole in concert to go backstage and personally drop off a demo tape that she made for him. 1AM Media announced that Ali J's next album, Come Back Soon, was scheduled to be released in 2020, but it's unclear if the public will ever get a chance to hear all or even part of that project. In a statement, the management said, Lexi was an extraordinary talent who left an indelible mark on the music industry in just a short period of time. She was a true lyricist and an exceptional storyteller with an authentic sound full of energy and curiosity. She had a deep love and devotion to music, but more than anything was a generous and kind soul with an infectious spirit. On Reddit, one of the people who knew her penned down an emotional note. She wrote, I knew her personally and we used to be somewhat close. She was an angel. I wrote her a letter about what her music meant to me when I was 15 and gave it to her at a concert. Threw my phone number on there for shits and giggles. And she hit me up a few weeks later and thanked me for the letter and wanted to get to know me. She always had other people in mind and was extremely selfless. She wanted to put bread in her circle's hands and buy a house for her mom. Her music is so real. It got me through my first heartbreak, depressive episodes, ups, downs, all of it. She is so loved, truly one of a kind. Even as we mourn the death of another young rapper, we cannot ignore the disturbing trend of their deaths. It should be very alarming that many rappers are dying at a very young age, and it's more unfortunate that the rappers either die after an overdose or after being shot. Rapper XXX Tentacion, born Jase Dwayne Onfroy, was shot and killed on June 18, 2018. The 20-year-old rapper was shopping for motorcycles in South Florida when eyewitnesses claimed a gunman came up to his car and shot him. Juice World, real name Jared Anthony Higgins, died on December 8, 2019 after suffering a seizure in Chicago's Midway Airport. Law enforcement sources told the outlet that, along with weapons and ammunition, 41 vacuum-sealed bags of marijuana and six bottles of prescription codeine cough syrup were discovered in the plane search, resulting in two of Higgins' bodyguards being charged with illegally possessing the guns and ammunition. The 2010s actually began with the tragic death of gang star rapper Guru, who died following a battle with multiple myeloma cancer at the age of 48. Other beloved hip-hop artists who died in the last decade include Nate Dogg, MCA, Sean Prince, Prodigy, Frito Santana, Craig Mack, Nipsey Hussle, and dozens of other young, talented artists. Many have been comparing this troubling spate of deaths to the so-called 27 Club of rock stars who all died at that age, except this time the artists are even younger. The 27 Club includes famous musicians, artists, actors, and athletes who have died at the age of 27, often as a result of drug and alcohol abuse or violent means such as homicide, suicide, or transportation-related accidents. Juice World rapped about how artists are barely making it past 21. He was proof of that, and now Lexi Alley J has joined the 21 Club. 
The big question is whether the 21 Club is becoming a thing, or it is just a coincidence that some artists are dying at the age of 21. We are hoping that drugs were not the reason why the talented rapper died so young. Rap artists claim that they only sing about what is happening in the society, but we are sure that they can do that without glorifying drugs, right? There are also rumors saying that Lexi had pneumonia, and other sources attribute the death to violence. The family probably wants some privacy regarding the matter, which is why they are not giving any details. Well, it would be great if they would shed some light, otherwise Lexi will be forgotten and her death will only be treated as a statistic. All we can say for now is rest in peace, Lexi. What do you think of Lexi Alley J's death? Sound off in the comments section below. This has been Riveted, and we publish amazing videos daily.